active passive test, plantar flexion inversion, you're going to bug them because you're stretching. Okay? Dorsiflexion inversion should be no problem. Resisted test should be no problem because we're not moving the inert structures then, right? And then your special tests, right? Your anterior drawer, you're grabbing on, you're trying to pull forward. Okay? And your tailor tilt, relax your foot again. Okay, and you, um, Nikita sprained his ankle. You, he came to the first lab at the front half, so, because he's got a class conflict thingy. But anyways, so I know he's got laxity in here. But you can see, I can move that, and it goes. There it goes. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm getting a nice stop, but it moves and opens up a little bit. If he just sprained this, that would hurt. Okay? His anterior drawer is not so bad. It moves a little bit. I actually clicked in the last time. Okay? So... I could tape this ankle, right? If it was hugely swollen, I'm not going to tape him to play. The position they need to be in to be taped, they need to be dorsiflexed and everted just a little bit. If they get, when you're, when you're relaxed, relax your foot, look where the foot goes automatically when you're relaxed. Sitting like this, it's going to plantar flex and invert a little bit. If I'm not paying attention and I put my stirrups on in this position, I'm going to pull that calcaneus back that way and they won't be able to dorsiflex. You will tape them, they'll hop off the table and they'll be like this. Okay, not very functional. So you need to make sure they're in dorsiflexion. This is going to be hard to do. Where's my practice too? I'll tell you right now that the fastest taping that we do, we do a tape off at our annual conference. It's so funny. And they're, they're allowed to have... Um, and it's an ankle tape job, and they're allowed to start with their two anchors on, and then they start the timer. And the fastest ankle tape job is 45 seconds. Mm. Okay? So, I mean, somebody can hold their foot there for 45 seconds, but it gets tiring if they're holding it there for three or four minutes. Okay? So you can use something like this so they can hold the tape, the foot up, while you're working underneath it. Or you can try and remember to do it by, you know, I sometimes will, will use my hip to stabilize. Okay? So whatever works. Now, oh, I forgot to go over this one, guys. Okay, the leg is not... Yeah. Well, I told them that one. I forgot about the angles. The, your leg's not perfectly straight. Okay, we, we're wider. We go skinnier. We go wider. Okay? If we put our tape on... I'll be nice to you this time. If we put our tape on straight, it's going to automatically go on straight and curve out the leg like that. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to have the, the start piece of the tape needs to be higher than the roll. So you want your tape slanting down towards the skinnier part of the leg. So if you're like this, the tape's going to go on like that. If you're perfectly straight, it can go horizontal, perfectly horizontal. So what the tape has to do here is we're going to be like this for there. And then as we come down the leg, we're going to slowly start to change our angle. Because when I get right above the ankle bones, I'm pretty, I'm pretty straight. It'll go on. Then when I hit the ankle bones, though, I'm now, if I keep it straight, it's not going to match up. If I angle down here, well, it's definitely not going to match up. So I need to actually angle back up because this is wider. I'm wider here than I am where the tape's going to. So the tape needs to change its angle a little bit. Okay. So, loose four fingers. That's where we're going to be. We don't have to be way the heck up here. Okay, that's sufficient distance. Angle down. Overlap by half. Now, keep the tape close to the body. Don't take a big long piece out on this one. Okay, base of the fifth. Okay, right in here. Some of you guys last week were going, oh, base of the fifth, I'm going to do this. Make sure I cut it shit in there. Now, if I do that right now, where am I pulling his foot? I'm inverting. No, no. So try to get in the habit with this tape job. For, it doesn't matter for, plant, for turf toe, really, right? But it makes a difference for this one. So do them the same for all the tape. So then you won't forget. Get used to the habit. Find the tibialis anterior tendon in the front. Come from the inside. Put the tape right at that tendon. Take it straight around the foot and you will catch the base of the fifth every time. Here's your second anchor. Stir up. Medial malleolus, I'm going to cut it in half. 
Okay, front edge cuts that in half. I'm running the tape really straight. Coming straight up. Okay, smoothing it on. I'm gonna anchor that down. Second one, gonna come a little bit to the front. Gonna come around, hit that same spot in the heel. Tape naturally wants to go back a little bit. So let it go behind that last anchor. Smooth her in. Half the width down. I'm now running my tape straight because I'm at the straight part of the leg. Third stirrup. A little bit towards the back. Same spot on the heel. It's going to come up a little bit. Now I'm starting to angle back up a little bit because I'm getting a little bit wider at the bottom. So that's my basket weave. I just need a couple strips to finish to close it up. So as I said, this could be three, it could be five, it depends, right? So now I'm just going to put a couple more strips in here, but I'm going to go this way. Make sure I get a good overlap in the front. I'm coming up, I'm hitting that last piece by half. Going over. One more piece, boom. So that and that now looks like a figure eight. Okay. There's your basket weave. Louisiana. Sinus tarsi. Start there. Three quarter eight. Okay, pull down a little bit. Lateral heel lock. Close your eight. Medial heel lock. See that little window? Aim for it, finish on top. The point of the V, right underneath the lateral malleolus on both sides. You will have this little triangle look. That's what you should be looking for. Looks like a little, almost looks like a, what they call an equilateral triangle, where the angles are all the same. Some of you will be doing this and your, and your triangles are going to look, this will be like this, and then this will come around, this will be way up here. <laughs> It's going to be all off kilter, okay? So just so you can try and work it out a little bit. One more time. Sign star side. Okay? Boom. Sign a star side. Under. Three quarter eight. Your eights are hitting the ankle bones, they're not going above. Okay? So they don't come way up here because I can't make my tape make that big of a change of direction. Okay? Hit the ankle bone, lateral heel lock, close your eight. Medial heel lock, finish on top. Okay. So into the sinus star side. Three quarter eight. Lateral heel lock. Close your eight. Medial heel lock, finish on top. That's one. Second one. Look for any windows that you might have. I got a little one on this side. Any windows you might have? My glasses are falling off. Okay. Three quarter eight. Oh, don't like that angle. No good. Quarter eight, lateral heel lock, close your eight, medial heel lock, finish on top. What's the possibility of making it um, You can if you crank. You don't have to be pulling hard on the on the tape as you're putting this on. You're not going. No, it's just going on. You're just laying it on. Okay, friction area is obviously really important. Uh, tendons in the front, tendons in the back. Heel and lace pads would be tucked in there. And then if you were to really finish this off, you've got some open ends of tape up here which are kind of ugly looking, so you would just throw a couple little pieces on there and lock it in. Okay, so that's your Louisiana. On the exam, would you want us to like finish it off and make it look pretty? Um, you can, but I probably won't kill you for marks on that one. If you remember to do it. 
I would like to see it nice and smooth like that, though. Okay, Illinois. Sinus tarsi again, but this time I'm angling back towards the heel because then the tape's going to automatically just bounce around the heel. Okay? Just like a basketball, if you bounce it straight up, like if you put it straight up, it's going to come straight up. If you bounce it on a bit of an angle, it's going to come back on the same angle. The tape's going to do the same thing. So if you take the tape and you take it really flat, you're going to miss the heel. If you take it vertically, it's going to come back up vertically. So you need to get the angle that you want to be at. So I'm going to start there, angle back, lateral heel lock, three quarter eight. Now you see that window that's right there? Let's just put the tape right where that window is. Okay, three quarter eight, medial heel lock, my other half eight. Still have my triangle, still have my point right underneath the malleable line, both sides. Time. Back, lateral heel lock, half eight, medial heel lock, half eight. Lateral heel lock, half eight. Medial heel lock, half eight. Finish. Now, usually though, there's a window on this side, so just finish your tape right over top of that window on the first one. Cover it right up. So that's one. Oh, no windows. Cool. Repeat it. Back. Lateral heel lock. Half eight, medial heel lock, half eight. Close her up. Okay. Retest, let the ankle go. Relax it. <coughs> He's not going anywhere on that Taylor tilt now. Okay, we can dorsi plant her full but the inversion is limited. Okay, questions? Oh, what you guys want to do, you want to make a practice piece, okay? As you can tell, there's a fair amount of tape that disappears when you're doing this, when you're practicing, it's really going to get frustrating, you'll burn through your tape. So take, take one, each of you, you take one roll of your tape, and poles, <coughs> stick the tape down together, okay, when you get it, so just you just keep doing that, when you get this as long as your arms are, so sort of like wrist to wrist, you'll have a piece that's long enough that you'll be able to practice this, so what it's basically giving you is something like this, that you can you can put on to kind of go and learn, learn the directions, and then once you get the direction down, then you can try it with your real tape, but this is a good way to just practice, and then like even next week, because I know you want to practice this all next week on reading week, right? Even next week, you can sit there and say, hey, I'm just hanging out doing nothing. Let's do my figure eight. Look, three-quarter, boom, heel lock, boom, heel lock. Right, you can just practice. So can I take myself completely a complete job? Yeah, you can. I would, if you're going to take yourself, you have to get in this position <coughs> to do it. Oh. Because okay. you're in the right position, it's the easiest way to take it. Okay. I'll leave that on because you want to go play nothing. Okay, so you'll have to take your other